Bo-Katan, have you heard of what became of the Mandalorian Din Djarin? Yes, I have. He has become Supreme Leader Snoke. Our people have faced many challenges, Bo-Katan, but we now face our greatest challenge, for you see, the galaxy has become overrun with gonk droids. Here, I have captured a gonk droid to try and deconstruct it, to analyze its parts, to see if it can walk the way of the Mandalorian. But this is a grave time for our people. We are all that remain. With Din Djarin now Supreme Leader Snoke, we must recruit more to our cause to walk the way of Mandalore. What do you want me to do about it? You must go to the planet Kef Beer. There, you will recruit a bounty hunter. He will take you on your mission. This is the way. This is the way. And so, the galaxy in turmoil, most of it overrun with gonk droids, bo set out on her journey to recruit more Mandalorians and make sure that their people would not go extinct. For you see, this was the way. To Kef Beer! Hey everyone, it's Andrew! <laughs> Leaving the armorer's cave, she saw that it was in fact true the galaxy had been overrun with gonk droids. Whatever would they do? So we're flying Darth Maul's ship because I think it looks really similar to bo ship in Mandalorian Season 3. What do you guys think? Am I wrong about that? bo entered her ship and traveled to Kef Beer, to the crash site, to meet this so-called bounty hunter. Upon landing on Kef Beer, bo was met with the stormy seas, high winds, and of course, the Hint Droid. My friend, I thought we'd dealt with you. Oh my god, why is he tiny? The Hint Droid is tiny. This is one of those planets I'm yet to fully explore. Since playing The Rise of Skywalker, which has definitely scarred me for life. Are you actually for real? You think it's gonna cure me, me from me being crazy? Oh my gosh, this village has been overrun with gonk droids. Hello, do you know a bounty hunter? Take it you've noticed the distinct lack of Orbax in our Orbax pen. Yes, they've all become gonk droids. No doubt led by the unruliest of all the Orbacks, or bad. <laughs> and so Bo-Katan made her way to help this poor stranger. She knew the gonk droids were behind this. The Mandalorians had learned of their secret plan, of what the gonk droids had become and what they intended to do. However, they still did not know that the galaxy was not ruled by Emperor Palpatine, was not ruled by Darth Jar Jar, but was in fact ruled by Darth gonk oh. oh my god, the Orbacks jump. The Orbacks have better jump packs than I do. Hurry and catch Orbad before something terrible happens. I mean, it's already happened. The galaxy is being overrun with gonk droids. Palpatine's leading an empire. Darth Maul's in charge of the rebellion. Count Dooku's leading the Separatist army. And now the Mandalorians are coming to join the fight. What's going on? I can't keep up with the story anymore is what's going on. To the other side of the island. Fly there, bo -Katan. I can sense Orbad nearby. I know the gonk droids have led Orbad out here. Orbad jumps all over the place. How are you doing this? Oh my God. Okay. Or up, up, up. Losing control. Losing control! Bo-Katan, natural born Mandalorian, now in control of Orbad. Over the hills and far away. Up, oh, we can't go up here. Is this outside the map? We can't go up here. Okay, we're going around the other side. Let's go, guys. Dun -dun 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 Orbad, come up. Oh, no! Don't take me that way! Ah! Okay, let's try and kill as many gonk droids in the process as possible. Pre prepare to die, gonk. Yes! Destroy the gonks! Destroy every last gonk! Whoever thought the gonk droids would become evil? Whoever thought that? Perhaps they're not evil though. Perhaps there will be a great plot twist which we are yet to uncover. We have successfully completed our mission. I'm impressed you managed to catch all that. Untitled Orbat Game. Hey! It's a reference to Untitled Goose Game. Can you take me to the bounty hunter I require? Go over the hills and far away and you will find the bounty hunter. You will ride one of the Orbacks there. And so bo mounted an Orbac and set out on her way up and over the hills and far away to find the bounty hunter. You will find him at the end of the stream near the crashed TIE fighter. Slowly bo approached the bounty hunter. Hello there, Carib Dis. You have the widest smile in the galaxy. Will you come with me on our mission to rid the galaxy of Gonkroids and save the Mandalorian race? Please come with us. We need you in our cause. For the sake of bounty hunters, we cannot go extinct. Please come with us, Carib. For those of you who don't know, Carib Dis is a bounty hunter whose appearance unsettles both allies and foes alike. His sensory organs are actually located behind his large set of teeth, meaning he often wore a disturbing grimace on his face. Man, this bounty hunter is one of my favorite sequel characters ever because of his giant face of teeth. <laughs> He's literally all teeth. The guy has no eyes. No nose, no ears, no eyes. All teeth, all mouth. That's the carob this way. <laughs> his teeth are just like going up and down. My name is Carob Dis. 
Bo-Katan, come with me. We will go to the planet Agent Cross, for there is another that can help us on our way. Where did you park? bo can't remember where she parked. Seriously, where's the ship? To Agent Cross! Carabdis had some personal business on Agent Cross. You see, by traveling to Agent Cross, Carabdis would be able to floss. And we all knew how important flossing was for him with his giant teeth. We're too late! The planet has already been overrun with Gonkroids! We must hurry! Oh, hello there, little critter. Who are you? What are you? Up! Oh, now you're running away. Come back! This guy has been literally burning for many, many months. And I think we'll leave him here, to be honest. It's it's more fun that way. Look at Tom. I found someone who might be able to help us. He is not a gunk droid, but he is very similar. The heroic return of Millennium Falcon and her heroic crew bring much heroic hope to the resistance. Much hope and much fire. Arguably a lot more fire than hope. But friend, laugh in face of odds. Friend, help fire droid fight flames. Slot into nearest water refueling unit and fire droid will make fire no more than smoldering memory. <laughs> Why is this fire droid so evil? And so Carob Dis obliged for he knew he could help his new friend Bo-Katan. For you see, Carob for so long had just wanted friends. He'd been rejected because of his giant teeth and lack of eyes and nose and anything else apart from teeth. All he wanted was friends and now he had two! A friend in the form of a fire droid that's arguably a gonk in disguise and Bo-Katan. <laughs> Alright fine, we'll put out the fires. The guy is no longer on fire. However, we will run you over with a gonk droid. Can I attack with the gonk please? Where are these other fires? I can smell fire. Oh my god, the tree's on fire. I guarantee a gonk droid lit these fires. I see you there, gonky! I know what what you're up to. The gonks are taking you over. They're taking revenge. For years, they've been downtrodden. They've been treated as battery droids, put up for use and scrap, tortured in the chambers of Jabba's palace. <laughs> well, no longer the gonk droids are uprising, but we must stop them. Carabdis in this moment knew that his he had found his life calling. He had become a firefighter, not something he had ever dreamed of, but something that gave him purpose, something that gave him camaraderie and friendship. Riding his new gonk droid. <gasps> Claudius McCordius, my friend. It's good to see you again. As you can see, the gonk droids have issue with us. Very genius using Volcan Runner ship for power source, no, but Claude worries ship power levels soon run low, total lights off. Send resistance into much danger panic mode. Yikes! Lucky for all, Claude has even more genius plan to get better. More powerful power source involve many danger though, so Claude need every helping he can get. Please be helping Claude. Claudius McCordius, we will help you. Hey look, I'm the same color as Claude today. Perhaps that's the reason I chose to do this mission. Perhaps that is the secret behind everything. No. Super's genius plan is to use state of art patented Claude technology to scoop up main lightning bolts from scary accidental planet for super unlimited energy power. This this is how we defeat Palpatine, Darth Jar Jar, Gonkatine, and all the Gonk droids. We take all of their power away. Claude is the key to all of this, friends. Claude is the key. We must travel to Exegol. Only then we will stop the Gonk invasion. Oh my God! So literally, so many Gonk droids. Can these can these Gonks please leave me alone? Come on, Gonkatine, we must go quickly, swiftly. But first, we need to put out this fire. I found another X-wing on fire. It's all good. We're gonna deal with the fire. Oh my God. No more fires detected in the area. Operation Flame Gorn Kloss is success. As is Operation Name Mission, something really cool and on brand to the location. What are you saying? Fire Droid, hope that friend and Fire Droid can embark on more firefighting fun frolics in future. <sighs> oh, Carabdis had never been happier in his entire existence. I must go, Fire Droid, but I will return and now we will be able to continue our friendship. I'll miss you. And so Carabdis nobly, selflessly decided to travel with Bo-Katan to Exegol to help her in her fight and hopefully defeat the uprising of the gonk droids. In the distance, they saw Claude who had already arrived. Karen slowly, trepidatiously, cautiously approached Claude. Hello, Claude. Claude just finished final touches on Genius Device, but Claude's little flipper flap's not able to work it. <laughs> One sec. Which is where Glamorous Assistant comes in. He just called me Glamorous. He just called Carabdiz Glamorous. <laughs> Must quickly, carefully slide device into position where lightning zap strike. Then BOOM! Device slop up much lightning power into device batteries. Where are you going? I love the way he walks. You... Oh, okay, so I need to move this. Oh god, it's a mini game. This is like Back to the Future and Doc. Lord, how did you know all the lightning was gonna strike in this specific square? Oh god! Oh, uh, Bo, Bo, Bo! <laughs> oh my god! Bo was struck by lightning, and by doing so, she gained a new power. The power of actual intelligence. Lord's battery is now fully bursting to brim with mega lightning zap power! Good jobs! Mm. 
Is it cloud or does battery power give off eerie, alluring aura? Hope it don't attract unwanted attention in carefree journey home. Mm -hmm. Maybe Claude go on ahead and let glamorous assistant transport batteries. Just as safety precaution. Claude don't handle well with high pressure in situations. See you back at base. I will take this for you. Claude, you are one of three friends I now have. We will take the batteries back. Claude, my friend, I love you. Okay, I'll see you soon. And so bo and Carabdis traveled back to Agent Kloss so that once and for all, Carabdis could finally floss. <laughs> However, while in space, they were attacked. They were intercepted by other bounty hunters. Friends, you must join our cause. The galaxy is being overrun with gonkroids. Do not fight us. Bo, they're shooting. Get on the rear cannons. Let's go, Bo. Reluctantly, they were forced to eliminate all of the bounty hunters who attacked their ship, for they knew that it was for the greater cause, the greater good. If they transported this box to Agent Kloss, they could potentially use it and its contents and Claude's brain and intelligence to once and for all defeat the galaxy from the gonk droid uprising. Safely, they arrived back on Agent Kloss. The planet's still overrun with gonk droids. They took the shipment of lightning in a bottle up to Claude. Oh my god, he built a- it's a- it's like an arcade machine. Claude, what have you built? Can someone translate the Orbesh up there please? I have no idea what it says. As can see, Claude take liberty of unloading device and is already performing stress tests with latest video game consoles. So far good. Initial tests show scary lightning power may in fact be near unlimited. <laughs> and last a thousand years. Future holds more gaming and less straining for Claude. Claude is a gamer. He's a pro gamer, MLG gamer. Claude. Any much thank you, friend. <gasps> oh my God, Claude. You just created the machine to defeat the Gonktroids. <gasps> Oh, it's so cool. Claude, we will defeat all of them once and for all. Don't worry. Bo is a gamer as well. Who knew Bo was a gamer? Thank you, Claude. With their new machine, the Mandalorians were saved and they would be able to potentially assist in the fight against the Gonk Droid Uprising. What happens next? I still have no idea. Please watch this video here and thank you for watching this. Also, been posting a lot more on Instagram. Come follow me. If you're not, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.